All right, guys, so we're back from those garage sales, really. Two of them were kid sales, so we didn't even really stay that long. It was a lot of clothing. And I uh, got a few things from the first one. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go through that lot of stuff I got from the online estate sale with you now and let you check that out. So don't mind the garage. We are in the process of having a garage sale, but I have everything out here on the table that we picked up from the online estate sale. And uh, I'm gonna go through each one of these things one at a time. All right, so the first thing that we picked up from that sale is actually a, two different sets of um, flatware. Um, there is this more simpler set. Um, I'm just kind of going through it now. Oh wow, look, look at how pretty that is. See if we can read anything on that. Probably not, right? There's an awful glare. It says Japan. Stainless steel Japan. It's like a shovel. <laughs> This is with that other set there. And this is Faberware China. You probably can't even see that. Faberware China. That's this main set. And then this set here is says Florentine on it. Florentine. And so there's uh one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven knives. Two, four, six spoons. Oh, seven spoons. Oh no, these are smaller spoons. One, two, three, four, five, six of these teaspoons. And then that's four, five, six forks this size. Oh, wait, there's more. There's seven forks this size. That's all that one set, so looks like service for six. Um, and here, one, two, three. This is a set of six as well. Uh, maybe more, actually. Yeah, this might be a set of 12, because there's two stacks of each here. Then uh, we got a little pie serving thing. This is Rogers Cutlery. See that? Rogers Cutlery. This is all gold tone. And this is... It says community on it, I think. Community. It's got a rose on the handle. I wonder if that's with this here. This little shovel thing. And this, I think, goes with that. Yeah, this is also that Faberware stuff. All right, and then some of these little spoons, they don't have any marking on them. I can see it's got, like, some sort of white handle. There's two, four, six of those as well. These definitely could use to be cleaned, it looks like. Yeah. So there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a set of twelve here. This I think is all that one set. And then I have that other set. So it's actually quite a bit. Um I was looking just at this set alone online, and it is actually selling for more than I paid for this entire garage sale lot. So that's pretty cool. Um obviously I'll do a little bit more looking into this stuff. And, um, 
yeah, I, I this is my first go round at silver or, or flatware of any type. I've never, never done this before. Perfect. So now we're gonna check out this box here. Oh. Let's bring you up a little bit. So I looked at this quickly yesterday and I dumped an entire can of Tinker Toys, a starter set from, does it even say on here? I don't think it does. But these are definitely the older ones with the smaller cogs. So I'll dig through this and pull a few things out. All right, so the first thing I got in this box is this Fisher Price Little People train. There's a bear in there. There's a giraffe, an elephant, and a lion. I imagine I don't have it all. Um, and it doesn't have a year on it, but I can remember playing with this in the church nursery as a kid. See how that works. Got some, uh, I think these are pickup sticks. I think that's what it's called. Got this little bank. Um, let's see if I can read that. I'm going to bring it in front of me here so I can hold it in front of the camera and read it. It says the first years on it. And it's Products Inc. Avon Mass number 3520 made in Taiwan. The first years... Oh, that's a DN Kitty. Yeah, DN Kitty products. Cute little turtle bank. Hello. <laughs> we got this uh, stuffed animal. It does have a tag on it. And the tag says 1990, 1996. So I'm assuming this is closer to 1996. Um, Sanrio Co. Um, let's see here. Yes, Sanrio. And, uh, this was, looks like, um, San Francisco, California. Again, made in China, 1990, 1996. It's like a very soft plush, but it has like a windbreaker almost type material. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Um... This was pretty cool, I thought. 1880 to 1980. This was made by Winross. I don't know if you can read that. Winross was a truck manufacturer here in East Rochester, New York. Obviously, Kodak was very big here. A lot of these trucks are much more valuable when they have the box that they come in. They generally come in a box like this. Um, but uh, it's in pretty good shape for its years, for its age, I guess. But that was, I thought that was an interesting find. I actually just sold several Winross trucks at a garage sale. I don't know if you remember these, if you're old as I am or a little older. A couple of uh, little kid pots and uh, more pans there. Some lighter pans and a little, little tray. This is all just one box. Of course, I have that. I picked up that whole thing of Tinker Toys, so it's, it's full. I have not taken the time to look and see if they're all there yet. I have some kitty plates here. These say Irwin on them. Two, three, four, five. And there was a couple Humpty Dumpty plates. These are a little bit older than those plastic ones, I think. I don't know, a little jar of shells and beads. Holly Hobby, it says on there. Eh. Some, somebody might like that. Some of this stuff, I'm having another garage sale, so I'll be putting it in. Got an old Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Someone uh, took a cube out there. So I guess that's a free space. I don't know. I think that's the cube that said Rubik's on it. But uh, There's another Rubik's Cube in this lot that I found as well. little uh, Tonka squishy truck 
Some of this stuff is older than others, obviously. Uh, I found one box in here was from um, Ollie's. Good stuff, cheap. This little uh, green pitcher full of silver or plastic wire. Um, three of these little cups. Yeah, two, three. That's a broken cup there. The handle's missing. But uh, three cups that I think go with that pitcher. A whole pile of plates over here that go with these little tea cups over to the to the side here. Let's see here, these say aluminum, but they're plastic. Aluminum specialty. Manito, Manitowoc, Wisconsin, USA, five four two two zero. So, there's those things there's this little uh, I think this little pitcher thing it's got some cracks on it there that goes with like that uh, we got a view master here 3d view master and uh, this is Yellowstone North 21 21 stereo pictures and that's uh, Yellowstone, Yellowstone, Yellowstone. It's a total of four Yellowstones. I always loved these things as a kid. I probably am still fascinated by them. Not as a kid. And then here we got a little envelope. This is uh, Texas 2 Traveling Smurf. There you go, Janet. Traveling Smurf, Traveling Smurf, Traveling Smurf, Texas number three, Flying Smurf, Texas number one, Flying Smurf, Flying Smurf. So that's Texas one, two, and three. Let me see if I can make this thing work and get you guys to see in there. I don't know if that will happen or not. Well, this isn't easy, huh? Well, that's kind of cool, huh? See any better over there? <laughs> Neat. So that's fun. That takes me back. Let's see if we can get it all put back where it belongs. Okay. Here is, uh, looks like a bingo set, spin bingo. It's got the wheel and the cards in there still. Remove the back to pull the cards out. This is from MCMLXXII. You guys that are smarter than me, figure out what that means and leave it in the comments. What year is that? We got a Melissa Doug on the go. This is obviously not as old. Um, doesn't have a date on there, but it's a water wow. Well, obviously not. Uh, it's kind of warped. But uh, has the built-in bottle storage. It has the thing to, to color there. So, that was kind of neat. And we got a uh, puzzle. I don't know if it's all there or not. This whole little bucket jump rope. Some wooden shoes. Turtle. Oh well. That is a patent pending made in Hong Kong. Doesn't have a oh huh? 1979. I don't know if you can see that. Interesting little rabbit lucky. You're the one. You're the man to make my bath time fun. Rabbit lucky. Oh no, a koosh ball. A koosh ball. Oh yeah, who remembers the koosh balls? That's fun. You got a little dolly here. I don't know if it tells us what it is or. 
no tag. And this says Dalhouse Furniture. They weren't lying. <laughs> A little inflatable something there. Surfboard. I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm just looking at all this for the first time myself. Oh my gosh, remember these things? Uh, I'm probably going to mess with that and try and get that back in order. Hey, there, there's a house barrel. That's cool. Okay, so we'll, we'll dig through that and have fun looking at this stuff. Scissors that are safe. What does that say on there? It's just a bunch of numbers. Anyways, there's that stuff. So I've been wondering what's in this. And it's gonna open. I know it's all toys, but holy smokes. I don't know what type of toys it is. I'm probably going to go get my chest mount so that we can look at this together. Alright. What do you think, guys? You see that alright? <laughs> don't wake me. I'm studying. <laughs> Peppermint patty. This is like, uh, it's inflatable. It's inflatable furniture. Some shoes fell out of these boxes here. These are some baby shoes. Those are, uh, Barefoot Freedom. Got another pair here. Some uh, Buster Browns. Bet those go in there. Three dollars originally. Look at that. Flexible soles. Man, do I remember these. Another inflatable there. That's the pillow for this bed. <laughs> There's a lot of Barbie stuff in there. There's a flexible plate. Start each day in a happy way. That is Holly Hobby. I can see that there. Holly Hobby. That's a Holly Hobby Collector's edition i know nothing about these plates this is smarter than me people mcm xxii another one of those hash trucks broken as well there's another hash truck that's a bank see that there Usually there were some barrels that went up in there. And then you turn this. And there was your coins. Test trucks don't have much value anymore. Look at that. Another can of Tinker Toys. This one's got the lid. The other one didn't have the lid. Afghan somebody made. That's nice. Smells old. 
another one. I think we're going to find a lot of that kind of stuff in here. This is an uh, old creepy doll. And eyes closed, eyes open. These are hard legs. It looks like it has a, a speaker of sorts in there. So, I don't know anything about this. Maybe it uh, originally... Uh, don't know anything about that. If you know something about that, let me know. I think these are Barbies. Model Toys Hong Kong for that one. Some are Barbie, I think, but... I don't know where it would say that. There. Someone gave that one a haircut. That's uh, the fate of my sister's Barbies. That's Mattel. 19... What the... 1966? Yeah, 1966. This is 1986. Whoa, sorry guys. A little inappropriate there. Nineteen eighty six. This one that also has oh look at that. It kisses. <laughs> Does it have a bit of information about the date on it. Hope that one does not. Oh, there it is. 1986, I think. Nineteen eighty-six. I gotta get my little magnifier because it might be a 66 or an 86. I don't know. I'm gonna think it's 80, 86. Oops, I think I just broke that one. I sure did. Anybody know how to fix Barbies? I just broke that one. Oh, I fixed it. That says 1966 on it. I know mean, you shouldn't be looking at its rear end, but it says 1966. There's another one. 66 or 86. I think that's 86. Uh, this one's uh, definitely not a Barbie, but it's in rough shape. It's ugly. That old ugly thing. That says 1966 on it. This is a uh, Hasbro. So that's a My Little Pony from when I was a kid. Just realized I was leaning too far down. Hasbro. Hong Kong. What else do we got in here? A little dolly. A little dolly. That's weird. Doll base there. Pencil sharpener. Shaving still in it. <laughs> it's kind of neat. A little cutie. This is a larger Barbie. And that says 1976. That's tall. I mean, standing on its feet right there in that box. That's a tall one. We have a Fisher Price medical kit. all there I remember that as a kid it's missing the foam there for the stethoscope but it is all there it's 1977 so if we had that as a kid it was a hand-me-down from somebody English tea little barbie combs in there that's a little cabbage patch kid I found another one in a bucket I'll show you later Leave that out so we can go with it. There's another little Cabbage Patch Kid. 
Here's another little Cabbage Patch Kid. Yeah, pinky in the brain. Jen, it's a Smurf. <laughs> we had these when I was a kid at my cabin. 1981. I might save that for my sister. I gave my sister a bunch of these one year. That I found at a garage sale. That was before I was reselling. We got a Raggedy Ann. Is this a real deal one? How do I find that out? We got a Raggedy Ann. And a Raggedy Andy. This is a box full of doll clothes. I'm going to dig through that some more just shoe box full. So that's that. Let me put this back together. Alright, and then the, this has the inside piece to it. This is a uh, three position rocker carrier cabbage patch, ages three and up, adult assembly required. Um, I have to figure out how to take this off so that I can store it back in the box. Um, I'm probably going to do some research and then I'll do a YouTube video on tackling that project. Eggs, this is, I don't know, a little rag doll. Okay. This is a hash truck. It's missing the top part. This is, this was a bank, I think. Maybe not. I, I had it as a kid. Uh, this is, uh, I think 1985 MCMLXXXIV. I think this was 1985. I do remember having one of these as a kid. My top is broken there. Used to have a little um, turnstile thing that would lift it open. I want to say that's a that is a bank, but it's missing a horn. Little uh, toy car. Another toy car. This is a Jaguar made in Italy. Little guy there. And we get this. This is a uh, one of those perfume deals. Let's see if it says. Oh yeah, it does. This is Avon Delicate Daisies Avon Good Fairy Decanter, three fluid ounces. And I'm not going to open it because I imagine, I can imagine what it smells like from seeing those as a kid. Found this little, it's a Frank, one Frank. Let's see if it will focus for you or not. It's from 1961. 1961. That... I don't know, that might be silver. I don't see any other metals in there. So I'll look into that. Thought that was cool. Then we got this uh, Tumbling Weebles. This is 1978 Hasbro Industries. Pawtucket. And uh, this little weevil goes here. And... Uh, it <laughs> how do you keep an idiot busy for hours <laughs> that's fun there's a couple other dolls i found in there this is a 1982 really can't see that but uh it says something like hold on 1982 CPI Inc. Uh, 1982 Knickerbocker Toy Co. And it, it's Little Orphan Annie. Look at that. It's a cutie little doll. I found this one too. I don't know what this is. There is a lo little bit of information on its back. Um, something Topper Corp. Uh, 19, it says copyright 1970, 1970 even. 
uh, made in Hong Kong. I'll have to do a little bit more research about that one. There's the Cabbage Patch Kids. This was not so old, and it came from Ollie's. Good stuff, cheap. It's in there. Uh, I'm probably going to sell that at the garage sale. We got some uh, anti dust white chalk, a little hammer, <laughs> pair of shades. I just might sport those, I don't know. Little sand bucket toys. Get another car. That is 1994 Mattel Hot Wheels. And that's a Ferrari. Hot Wheels. That might be 1996. My old eyes. There's another one of those little Cabbage Patch Kids. Another Rubik's Cube and a deck of cards. There's that stuff. Then we got a box full of books. This whole thing full of marbles. Plenty of marbles in there. And some more dollhouse furniture. All right, so that's everything. I uh, appreciate you hanging with me going through that estate sale find. Um, I hope you saw some cool stuff in there. If you know what something is that I don't, hey, do me a favor. Please leave a comment down there. I appreciate it. If you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notifications of new content. You never know what I'm going to do. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. God bless you all.